I am not a not a marketing person. I don't uh, give presentations uh, on marketing. Uh, but what I felt was to show you or uh, some uh, guidelines about pitfalls in mobile uh, apps marketing. Because when I was involved in selecting the ideas with the uh, NCL app camp ideas, uh, I felt there was something missing uh, because the ideas were very, very interesting, very interesting in fact, but the marketing part was missing. Most of the, uh, uh, the idea presentations missed the marketing part and a lot of things a lot of ideas were rejected because of the marketing uh, part. So uh, I just wanted to get into this. I'm not a marketer, I'm just a computer person, but as a company uh, director of uh, my uh, mobile company software, I can uh, give you some guidelines what we follow and what you should follow, okay? While uh, the Ancel AppCam ideas uh, came into uh, the scene, we were in the selection committee, we just went and saw all the ideas, the pitches, and we saw a couple of hundreds of uh, hundred app ideas during the app camp. And out of those, the participant, participation was very interesting because there were hundreds of uh, participants participating in it. Uh, it was quite in exciting, but most of the presented ideas were very generic in nature. It was, they were very generic means uh, most of the ideas were already done by somebody else. Now, creating new ideas is uh, quite very, very hard, in fact. It's not quite hard, very, very hard. But most of the ideas were, was, were generic, and uh, the uh, app development market looks very lucrative. Everyone wants to make uh, applications, but they don't work because of the generic ideas. There are thousands of millions of apps now uh, in the market. So you need to think of something different. If, there is, if the uh, app idea is not different, then, then uh, it won't work, okay? Uh, the app development uh, market is very lucrative, and it is, it is lucrative, in fact, if you can do it. Out of seven billion world population, we have 1.7 billion smartphones in the market now. That's the record for 2014. Uh, source is eMarketer. You can go to eMarketer.com and see. Uh, so, see, out of 7 billion world population, about 1.75 uh, billion smartphones are in the market, and the growth of from uh, 2013 to 2014 is 25%. So, the market is very, very, uh, ripe. It's the right time we are making uh, mobile apps. We are going into mobile apps, and you are into the mobile app uh, platforms now, which is very, very uh, interesting. But when you are talking about apps, everybody is doing it. So why shouldn't they do it? Okay, that's, that's the most, uh, uh, that's the real uh, uh, concept going around the market, okay, is if everyone is doing it, why not me doing it, okay? But uh, there are a lot of problems uh, while you are making apps. Like Thomas said, startups, it's quite hard to get the funding first. Uh, after you get funded, uh, the team, the quality of apps, the consideration, uh, the, the concept, the app concept of ideas uh, is also very hard to conceive because there are a lot of apps already in the market. So you need to be unique. Uh, so I just want to get back to Ancel app uh, camp ideas. Where why were most of the ideas very generic in nature? And can I uh, ask you some question from there? Why were the ideas very generic in nature? Most of the ideas were generic. That means everything was already made. Uh, in, they were in the market. Uh, the marketing ideas, marketing uh, plans were not very clear. This is because 
lack of research. Okay, this is because it was lack of research. So not investing in market research. Investing doesn't mean investing money. You have to invest your time, maybe investing money also. So a lot of the participants did not invest a lot of time researching. So you have to research first uh, before you plan the app. Okay? So there, are, there may be ideas, like Thomas said, ideas mean zero okay, if you don't act. But before you generate ideas or before you create any ideas for your apps, they have to, you have to study very, uh, 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 study the market. Okay? So not investing in market research is the first pitfall during your app development or before your app development. Okay? So what you do is you have to uh, analyze the requirement, whether your app idea is required in the market. Okay? If the app idea is not required in the market, it doesn't solve, uh, do any, give any solution to any problems, then your app idea doesn't work. That's the number one thing. And you have to uh, identify your app, what your app does. Okay? It doesn't need to be very big apps, like you, can't, you, you don't have to target the international market. You can target the local market. You have seen those apps because you are in the app market. You have seen the Nepal load setting app. Okay? It solves, like for me, I am a computer person. I go to my house, I work on the computer. I go to my office, I work, uh, work on the computer. I go to my client's office and work on the computer. So I need uh, power. And uh, there is a power problem in Nepal. So I need to know which time is best to go to my client's computer because they may not have power. So for that, Nepal load setting app solves my problem of knowing which area uh, has power in what time. Okay? So your requirement analysis has to be uh, clear and you have to identify what your app is going to do. So load setting app is what we want. Nepali Patro, I want Nepali calendar, which we don't find in, uh, in the computer most of the time. Uh, if you have it with you, you know when to uh, go to, uh, when to have uh, fun because you'll be having holidays. Uh, maybe when to have pujas, when to have murats, okay? So Nepali Patro is also a very dedicated app for Nepalese market. So I, I am just concentrating on app ideas, not international or local, but app ideas. So these app ideas work very uh, nicely because they solve your users' problems, okay? And English Nepali dictionary, it may be a very good uh, idea for uh, apps, okay? So, if you invest in market research, you can get some ideas like this. Nepal load setting app was very, very popular and uh, it's earning millions, not in dollars, but rupees, but it can, uh, uh, you, you know the market now, you, you are used to the market. Then your next app can be an international market. So you can try with the local market, see how it works, practice with the local market, and you can have an idea which can be marketed internationally, okay? So not investing in market research is the first pitfall during development. And uh, pitfalls during development, not analyzing the competition. Now, you have to analyze the competition. As uh, Thomas said, if your app is already in the market and the app is doing very, very well, it will be very, very hard to, for you to compete if you start another app. Okay? with the same concept, but, but you can bring up a new app with the same concept, but in a different way. Okay? Uh, so before you uh, produce, an, uh, produce or start an application, analyze the competition, look for similar apps, what features they have and what you plan to have in the uh, app, if, you, uh, if they have some features, like five features, and you want to add two more features, which are very, very important, your app may work, because 
those two features may be the features uh, your users be looking. So look at users' reviews of your competitors. So you can go to uh, Apple Store or uh, the Google App Store and see the comments out there. And check out your competitors' apps and the comments your users are giving. Now, if the users are giving bad comments, okay, if they have bad comments, or if they want new features in the app and uh, the app is not updated, there's, there you can come in and uh, introduce a new app with those features. Okay? And you have to be very fast, very efficient. At the same time, your app uh, user interface has to look better than the previous app, which is already launched. Okay? So not analyzing the competition is another pitfall. So analyze the competition. Not considering during development. Now, when you are developing something, when I write, I also write poems and uh, songs, lyrics. And when I write something, I don't see my mistakes. Okay? Somebody has to see it. Or if I write an article and uh, if I go through it, I don't see my mistake myself. If uh, I give it to Thomas, I think, he'll get uh, more uh, mistakes from me. Or if I give it to Rashmi, she'll uh, get more mistakes. Okay? So we don't see our own mistakes. What you do is you give it to another person. Like, while you were submitting your ideas, they were brilliant ideas, but they were rejected. Because you thought they were brilliant, but it may not be brilliant for other people. Okay? Or they may not be solving your problems. So all you people got selected because your ideas were great for yourself and the other person, like, like us. Okay? So consider your feedback during development. So get the beta testing done. Show it to other people. So they'll uh, give more feedback. And they know, like, when you are involved, like, you, you love your dog, dog very much. But if you uh, take the same dog to your uh, neighbor, He'll say the dog is not very good. Okay, so I'm just talking about give it, give the uh, app to another person so that they can see it and give you the give you a very good uh, feedback. Uh, you do the beta testing. Uh, you can do you can do beta testing testing in in house and request beta testers to test your app. You can get online beta testers where you can get your app tested. Okay? Not getting marketing involved soon enough. Now, that was the main problem with most of the app ideas which were submitted to us. Okay? Uh, there were very less marketing involved. I'm not a marketer, I told you. I am a software person, so I don't know a lot of marketing stuff. So I need to have someone like my marketing team or marketing expert to help, you, help me with the uh, guidelines to market my app. So get your marketing team involved soon enough when you start your app. So this will be a very, very crucial point for all of you because uh, getting your marketing part involved will get your uh, success for your apps. While in development, marketing team must study and prepare marketing plan and strategy. How you will be marketing, whom you will be marketing, what is your, track, uh, what is your uh, target audience, are you planning for the local market or are you planning for the international market. So this has to be very, very clear before you start developing any app. So first thing is identify the USA of your app. USP is... Uh, unique selling point. Uh, what is your unique selling point is the uh, first thing you have to do before you start your, mark, uh, start your apps. Uh, it may be like load setting app. There was no load, load setting app before um, uh, the first load setting app came in the market. After, we, after one load setting uh, app came into the market, there were five, six load setting apps uh, sprouting in the market. So, the leader, the first uh, 
developer will always benefit. Okay, this is what has happened with the load setting app. So uh, the USP of the load setting app is the users in Nepal need it every day, and uh, it has been very very difficult for everyone, everyone to uh, track get track of the uh, schedules. So get the identify the USP of, of your app, branding your app now. People don't brand the app. Okay? They don't name the app. The name may be very, very uh, crucial because when, when you search in your uh, app store, it has to be searchable. It, will, it has to be listed there. Okay? When you search with a certain uh, number of keywords. Like if you have a uh, load setting app, it's, if you if type load setting, you should see your app there. But if you have photo editing apps, there may be thousands of photo editing apps, but your app should be listed in the top maybe 20, 35, uh, 20 30 uh, top apps so that uh, they can try or download your app. So branding is very, very essential. Branding means putting your icon or the logo of the app, which is very important. I normally uh, look at the graphics before I <laughs> test the app because um, there was uh, I was uh, looking for uh, uh, marriage planning app because uh, I'm uh, getting my daughter married this year. So I want I wanted to see an app which analyzes or which keeps records of what is happening. Okay, what uh, plans I need to do. So I was looking for an app, and then I saw an saw, uh, app from UK, app from US, app from Germany, app from India. I tried all. Okay? I just saw all the apps on the, uh, in the market. But there was a very nice icon. Okay? The app was from UK. I downloaded it, and the app was very bad. It didn't work. Okay? But I, I downloaded it because the graphics was nice. The presentation was nice. The worst presentation was from app from India. Okay, and uh, I tried three or four. It didn't match my uh, requirements, so I downloaded loaded an app, marriage uh, planning app from India. The uh, the graphics was very bad, uh, so I downloaded it at the last. So that was the fifth app I downloaded, and and that worked. Okay. So, if the graphics was good, if the logo of the, the icon or the logo of the app was good, I would have downloaded the app first. Okay? So, you need to brand your app by name. Name has to be very catchy. At the same time, the graphics has to be very catchy. Uh, you have to have outreach plan, who and when, and create a press kit. So, uh, when are you reaching the people, uh, who are you reaching and when are you reaching, you have to have a plan, okay? Inform the user about the development process, so uh, don't market your uh, app after you finish developing. Start, start your uh, marketing when you start developing your app, okay? So while you, it has to go side by side, your marketing and development of the app has to go side by side. So start your app at the same time, uh, whether you have a, a website side by side, or you may have to uh, market your app in different app marketing uh, platforms. All right? Inform the user about the development process. So you say, it'll say, we have been uh, finishing the app, uh, we'll be finishing the app in two years, two months. Uh, we have come up after two months. You'll say we'll be come up, we have come up with uh, alpha, and then after two months you'll say we'll be, we have come up with beta. Now the beta is in the is in the market. Uh, I remember like I play uh, poker uh, very much on the phone when I'm free. Uh, Jenga poker is very very famous because uh, I'm, I think they are uh, the top uh, earners uh, in the mobile market. When I, I, I follow like 
uh, I have been following uh, Jinga for a long time. The, when they started, it was a very, very small program. I downloaded, I tried, and then they were updating. They came up with new features. They, we update, like, every uh, five months, six months, I've been updating Jinga Poker, okay? So, uh, when, I, uh, when I download my app in my, com uh, in my mobile, you'll get uh, update not notifications. But at the same time, you have the site, you have Facebook, where they promote and uh, update the, inform the user about the new features and new updates. Okay? So don't forget to do that. Create a promotional channel list. So where you, uh, you'll create a channel list where you will be promoting your uh, app in the future. All right? So uh, these uh, promotional channels, there are a lot of promotional channels uh, in the market. You can Google it. You can find uh, about 20, 30 uh, app, mobile app marketing channels. Uh, just make the list and make pitches how you will be marketing your uh, app. Not planning the app release date in advance. So I don't know whether you have planned an app release date. Uh, it is very difficult when you, have, uh, you are out of funds and you are looking for funds. But after you get the funds in your hands, you have to target a date. And as I told you uh, in the previous uh, Slide, you have to plan everything first and get ready to launch in a particular date. So people will be uh, expecting your app in a certain day, and on that day, they'll be expecting you to uh, release the app, and they'll download it okay, for a trial also. So create a development calendar and create a marketing calendar at the same time. So create a development calendar, a marketing calendar, and work, synchronize the both, the both calendars to a release date. So synchronize that and release, uh, announce a release date or pick up a release date, okay? Now, these are uh, all uh, pitfalls during development. So do these, okay? Jot down every point in your diary, or in a computer, in a mobile, and don't fall into all these pitfalls. After you finish your uh, app, go into the uh, post-launch pit pitfalls. Now, when you, uh, when you are finished with the apps, okay, not focusing on user engagement and retention. Now, this is the main problem. Now, every app, there are millions of apps, I think uh, to be particular, uh, there are I think 4 million apps, okay? Out of 4 million apps, you are just using in your uh, mobile, uh, in my mobile I think about I have uh, 40 apps in my mobiles, and the average is uh, as Thomas said, and it is uh, written in the uh, uh, e-marketer sites also, or the Google, Google site also. Uh, a person in average will have 26 apps in their, in their uh, mobiles. And uh, Thomas, you said 33? 33, right? So, so in average, you have uh, 26. And in some countries, they have uh, up to 40 apps per mobile, OK? And those apps are not used day to day, OK? Most of the apps we use are uh, either communication apps, or uh, social networking apps. So I use Twitter every day, Facebook every day. I use Viber maybe in two, three days' time. Okay. So I use, uh, I use uh, uh, Yahoo and Google Mail. So I use those two uh, apps every day. Then I have other 26 uh, to 35 apps which are just there to be used in my convenience, okay? So, not focusing on user engagement and retention. These apps are retaining me. I'm just installing those app, apps in my uh, mobiles, and I look them, look at them, 
uh, once in a while or maybe every day or maybe every hour ok. So, they are retaining me I am not uninstalling them I am uh, putting them there permanently. So, after investing money to get users download your apps. So, you will do a lot of uh, uh, advertisements paid advertisements you will be investing your time to post your advertisements for your apps uh, you will be promoting your apps offline or maybe online or on the TV on the uh, on the uh, radio ok. You see a lot of uh, apps uh, these days on uh, in uh, Indian channels you get all these flip cards and what not ok OLX and everything. Now, after investing lot of money to download your apps your apps are downloaded, but if if the app they see do not get interested if the users do not get interested in your apps they will uninstall it immediately and they have lot of options. If they did not have options they would consider that app, but if they have lot of like millions of options they will uninstall your apps and go to another app. So, consider engaging them with your app and retain them that is the main uh, focus you have to have after your app is launched. Uh, this is the this is one of the most challenging task of any app ok. So, you have to have very very uh, strong strategy to have the user engagement ok. Sorry. not checking out the analytics of the app. Now, when you release an app ok, after you release the app you will have uh, the list of users ok and you will have daily monthly active users. So, you will know how many users are, are active ok, how many users have been uh, using it daily, how many users have been using monthly we call it DAU and MAU. So, daily active users and monthly active users then so, analyze those ok. Then analyze the retention rate retention rate is daily weekly and monthly retention rates. So, you check out how many days the users uh, has downloaded the app and whether the app is in the in his mobile or not whether he has uninstalled he or she has uninstalled it ok. So, see try the analytics how uh, the uh, app is retaining the users and the money making thing which is very important average revenue per user. So, you, if you have a uh, free app you will have ads mobile apps uh, mobile ads in it if you have freemium you will have another uh, technique of getting uh, your app monetized. Uh, you will have uh, if you have if you are selling your app you will get the average revenue per user ok. So, average revenue per user is total revenue you earn ok divided by the total active users. So, you will get the average revenue per user. So, what you do is plan all this check out your analytics and uh, from the analytics all you also know which features are very very famous which features are features your users are not using. Uh, if your users are not using some kind of features uh, slowly you may take out those features and add new features which your users are normally using ok or most mostly using. This is uh, the most important thing as everyone knows not paying attention to customer support will always be uh, a pitfall for all the apps even sometimes Google gets uh, busted by <laughs> customers because they say the apps are very good, but the support is not very good ok that is what Google gets lot of uh, uh, user complaints you may have millions of users you may have millions of users, but if one user is 
not getting support, that person will spread the word all over the internet. It's very easy to spread the word these, these days. If you do good, nobody will talk about it. If you do one thing bad and it spreads in the net, it's all over and you can't, it's very hard to delete those bad comments, okay? So you may have millions of users treat every user with care and importance. Every user is very, very important. Don't neglect any, any of one of them. Word of mouth is the best publicity and neglecting users may be harmful, harmful. So that means if you neglect one user and that one user complains and puts it in the web, it's always there, which will always backfire you, okay? So respond to customers directly in Google Play Store. Uh, you can't do it in Apple Store, right? In Apple Store, you can't reply the comments, but in Google Store, you can uh, reply the comments. So when you, are, when you have your app in the Google Store, always go to your comments, uh, talk to the users, okay? If there are problems, solve it immediately, and that will be very, very uh, helpful for your app to grow bigger. Pushing too many messages to the user, it's like cold calling, okay? If you are sleeping and then you just get a phone call you don't like, you may not like uh, the calling person, okay? Similarly, pushing too many messages to the user is uh, bad. So don't push a lot of uh, messages to the user. I do not bug your users too much with, I use this word to uh, tell my staff, push not notification is like this, okay? Push notification. So don't push too much, okay? Push not. It's a push notification, but most of the time it's push not. So don't push the notification too much, okay? Push messaging is great to engage the customers. So when I get some information, I'll uh, check, like when I'm uh, using my Yahoo mail, I get my mail notification, I go into it, check the mail. It's good enough. But if you are doing some kind of like advertisement and if you push a lot of messages, then that may re not retain. It will engage the customers, but it will not retain for a longer time. So push messages, is very, very crucial. So you'll have to plan how many messages you'll be pushing to the user per day or per hour or maybe per uh, week. So plan that uh, very carefully. So don't push a lot of messages, okay? Plan or push notification carefully and let them turn off easily. So if they can turn off, okay, it's in their hands. So you are not responsible for it. You'll push them if they allow you to push them, okay? So there will be this, this third point will be very, very safe for your apps. Now, not personalizing marketing or support communication. So when you com communicate with the user, okay? Uh, instead of dear user, use dear Joan or dear Mr. Doe or something like that, all right? Don't say Mr. dear user. That will turn and turn me off. Like if I get an email with uh, email saying, "Dear user," I'll just neglect it. Okay, I'll just delete it. Okay, or uh, if it says like if I am a Yahoo user uh, or Google user, if the user if the if Google says, "Dear Google user," I won't look at the uh, email. Or if it, if it says, "Dear administrator," I won't look at it. Look at it. Okay. So what you do is, if you say, dear Karun, I'm going to and check it out, okay? So use personalized marketing or support communication. So when you are talking to your uh, users in the Play, uh, Google Play uh, store, there you can communicate with the user, you can get, see the name, use your name, use the user's name and you communicate. Or if you are mass mailing, like a lot of the time you'll be, what you'll be doing is promoting your application with mass mails, all right? So plan your mass mails nicely so that you get 
all the uh, uh, names personalized to the particular user. This plays, this is a very small thing, but it plays a big, big role. Okay. After you release your app, they will be sharing or liking it. Okay. Uh, there are, uh, you can like it in Google Play Store, in Apple Store. You can share the app, okay? but not providing incentives to share or like. If you don't provide incentive to share or like, people will just ignore it. Okay? So provide incentive to the users to share or like your app on social networks. So if you are like, if I'm playing a game, let me, check, let me tell you about, the, about Jinga Poker again. If I'm playing poker and if I share, I'll get 100 coins, let's say. Okay? Or if I like, I'll be promoted to another level. Okay? I'll always do that. Right? So that's the incentive you'll be providing. So provide incentive to uh, provide the re review and positive feedback also. Provide incentives which can be points, which can be money maybe, or may, it can be free gifts. It can be free gifts or your free app. So you may have a paid one and paid app or maybe free app. Okay? If they like your app or share your app, you can give them another free, uh, let's say, premium app or freemium app. Okay? So you can, it can be anything, but you'll have to plan it while you are, while you are marketing your apps. Okay? So your users have to feel special so that they'll, be, they'll stick to your app. All right. Now this is I have uninstalled about uh, 20, 25 apps because they were not updated. Okay. So if the apps get updated, I feel like they are active and they'll fulfill my need. They'll add more features. So not updating your app is a very bad pitfall. And I personally have uninstalled about. 20 to 25 apps because good apps. I used to use those apps, but I don't get new updates for them. Okay? So not updating your app is another pitfall. Listen to the customers, use updates, uh, user updates, uh, maybe in form of user interface or add new features. So if the user interface is now the interface also changed, they are like fashion uh, today. Uh, you may be the whole uh, world may be using blue color uh, in three years time the whole world may be using green color okay I'm just giving on examples the user interface patterns change okay after some time so you may have to change the user interface according to the uh, need of the market the fashion of the market, the trend of the market. Okay? So use, the update can be in user interface or you can add new features. Most of the time it's new features with small user interface. Uh, update the apps regularly. Okay? Updating the apps regularly will give you more users okay? and it will retain the, your previous customers. 